Hey, second through fourth grade. I would like to share another book with you today, and we're going to work with visualizing, and we're also going to make some connections, and we're going to have a couple more vocabulary words that we'll talk about too. So the book that I'm going to share with you today is called Pop, a book about bubbles. It's by Kimberly Brubaker Bradley, and the photographs which are real pictures taken by a camera, are by Margaret Miller. So I'm going to read this book to you, but because we're working on visualizing and creating mental images, I'm not going to show you any of the photographs yet. Instead, you are going to have to do that imagining all by yourself. So I have a question for you before we get started. And I want you to think very hard about the question. Here it is. When have you seen a bubble or blown a bubble? Think about that. Maybe create a mental image. When have you seen a bubble or blown a bubble? What did it look like? Hmm. If you need to, you can close your eyes to create that mental image up here. What did that bubble look like? Think about the size, the shape. Think about the color. How did it look? How did it smell? Think about that. Okay, so I'm going to start our book, Pop, a book about bubbles, but I'm not going to show you the photographs. It's going to be your job to visualize the images that you think about when I'm reading you the words. That's my favorite part of reading, creating my own movie inside my head. I'm going to stop a couple times when I want you to think about something very deeply. And I also might stop when I come across a word that we might not know the meaning to. So let's get started. Dip the plastic wand into the soap solution. Hold it up to your mouth. Now blow. You've made a bubble. Watch it float higher and higher. The bubble shimmers in the sun. Up it goes. Up, up. Then pop, it disappears. Pause really quickly. Create that image in your head. What's happening? You can blow small bubbles or big ones. You can blow one bubble or hundreds of bubbles. You can't blow square bubbles or flat bubbles, because all bubbles are round. Think about what that word means, round. What shape are we talking about? Circle. Bubbles are air trapped inside of a liquid. The liquid you put your bubble wand into is made of water and soap. That's called your solution. It's a mixture of liquids. Sometimes that liquid or that solution has a little corn syrup in it too. And corn syrup is clear and it's like a, it's like maple syrup, but it's clear and it's a little bit different, very sticky liquid. The corn syrup is sticky. It sticks to the floor if you spill it. And the solution will also stick to the floor. It sticks to your fingers when you touch it. And it sticks to the plastic bubble wand. It sticks and it stretches. It stretches across the round hole on the end 
of a bubble wand. Hmm. Close your eyes for a minute. Think about what we just read. Sticky, sticky, sticky. When you blow air into the wand, you make air move. If you blow slowly, you can see how the air makes the soap on the wand start to stretch. As you blow harder, the soap stretches and stretches until it can't stretch anymore. And finally, it snaps free off the wand. The soap shuts around the air that's inside of the bubble. And there it is, a bubble. I'm going to pause right here really quickly. What are you thinking about? And what did you see in your mind? Take a second or two to think about that. What did you see? You can close your eyes and picture it again. Did you see sizes? Did you see a shape? Did you see colors? Did you feel? feel anything on your hands. What were you visualizing? All right, I'm going to read just a couple more pages for today. You don't have to blow a bubble, or excuse me, you don't have to blow to make a bubble. If you hold your bubble wand up to the wind, the wind might blow bubbles for you. You can also make bubbles by holding the wand up and running. Anything that moves air can make a bubble. All right, I am going to stop there today. Um, unfortunately, I'm unable to meet with you today to do our activity but I do want you to keep our book in mind and be thinking about bubbles, okay? Where might you find bubbles? That's what we will talk about tomorrow. Where might you find or see bubbles?